Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC in which we're inviting Sweden, but I've done a few more focuses off screen such as establish royal guards. With a monarch now seated on the throne, it is vital that we find only the most elite among the ranks of the Polish army to be charged with the personal protection of our beloved monarch. Well, let's complete a plan west if you like it about that, please go ahead. I've gone ahead and done uh, expand Krakow Industries. Poland's old capital Krakow has been freed from the clutches of the Austrian Empire, but still the city remains shackled by its past. Lacking the modern industries it needs to rival the West with investment, we should bring Krakow back from the dead. I've already gone and done the North Sea. <clears throat> Before we can even begin to consider swaying the neutral powers in the North to join our alliance, we must lay the groundwork on the global diplomatic stage. We must make the Northern powers aware of our eagerness to cooperate, and send Joseph Beck in a silver tongue to the Nordic countries to convince them that many of the benefits of aligning themselves with the Medemores. Finno, Finno Polish Pact. The Finns are in a simple, similar position to us, stuck on the border with the Russians who want nothing more than to see their nation subjugated once again into an empire. This makes Finland the ideal candidate for an initial meeting more expansion of the Nordic countries in which they did reject us. But Estonia joins our alliance. Acknowledging the need for unity against the threats surrounding the countries on every side, Konstantin Petz today announced to the world that Estonia has entered a treaty of the Kingdom of Romania, or Poland Romania, for the sake of our mutual safety. Ah, we do stand for others. And we're not we're going to go ahead and cancel and invite Sweden first, because the Swedes have an initial, uh, intriguing concept of neutrality in these times of growing conflict. Perhaps we may be able to sway their foreign ministers that the Intermarium is the most neutral of all alliances in the world, and that this mutual offer of defense is the best chance to deter direct intervention from the world's powers. Now, we're not going to do that because I didn't realize we're doing a diplomatic mission to Denmark. Uh, yeah. We're going to send Beck over there, and well, they'll be much more likely to join our faction, so I'm going to wait to do all those focuses. Um, there's not really much else we could do. I'm going to explain things in just a little bit as well, and modernize Galician industry. Galicia, like Krakow, was once held and neglected by the Austrians, but now it is once again in Polish hands. It may give it the investments into modernization that it so desperately needs. Okay, so the one thing is that, I, I said earlier in this campaign I want to take out Germany, and I guess by extension the Central Powers and Austria-Hungary, but every time I kick them out of the faction, because we can't kick them out of the faction, they immediately join the Allies, and right now... We can't really fight the allies, but we're going to go fight the allies. Because, why not? Um, yeah, honestly, you look pretty powerful like, like this, even though last time we did take out Russia. Led by almost communist Lazarev. A lot of manpower. Oh, quite a few divisions, too, so that wouldn't be too bad. So, honestly, if we're going to fight the allies anyways, we might as well keep... Um, kind of two here's two. Uh, might as well keep Germany and Austria-Hungary pretty much united with Bulgaria as well. Too bad we don't have Finland. We do have Estonia, which doesn't say very much, but... Um, yeah, I'd rather just have everyone in here, so we can go straight to war with these guys now, so we might as well. I'm going to just point out we're not going to go to war with, uh, Germany like I wanted to, but overall, it'll be fine. Cool. And let's go on in to France. Why France? Because we can. And we'll give the Germans all slice of rain. We'll see what happens. Call all of our allies in. Please, please. You better join, son. Seriously, join right now. We need you to join. Hello, ding dongs, come on, let's go in. They have 24 divisions there. We we gotta get in there now so we can move around them and so blow them up that way. Uh, yeah, overall not too bad. And we'll come over here too and see what we can do. Uh, French minute for Kurdistan. Goodbye. Call all of our allies in for that one eventually too. Oh yeah, whatever. But yeah, we've just been expanding our armies. We, as you can tell at the top of the screen here, um, we need more manpower. So that's why I want also want to go to war and service by requirement. Ships off, ship designer, very nice. Although we can do okay here, you can do that too if you want. Doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, Luxembourg needs to not exist. There you go. And I'm not too worried about this. Just make sure that. Why are they using makeshift bridges? Huh. All right, whatever. Dominion of Canada? Well, obviously I'm not going to try to take out the UK. I, I, I don't give a crap about the UK, to be honest with you. But, we'll get there eventually. Eventually. Oh, subs and their ships too. Oh, look at that. That's not good either. Of course, we have a board of the Indian nation as well, but whatever. Or the Raj. After this Atomic Physics Institute, we must not lose the chance to be first to discover a way to harness the primal fire of fission. Oh, we want to go to war with Latvia as well. We'll get there eventually, though. But we're doing quite well. We're almost capitulated. Okay, we got Paris. We took Paris. The fall of Paris. German army seems unstoppable. Well, what do you mean, German army? What the heck? The Japanese People's Republic? I mean, we're still fighting Japan. What the heck? Why are they capitulated to them? What in the world? Oh, also, we're with China, too, aren't we? Yeah, well, that sucks. Forgot about that one, but... Oh, well. Yeah. 
Yeah, this makes literally no sense. Why are we fighting these guys? We're fighting the Italians, right? Yeah, we are. Alright, not bad. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why they capitulated the Japanese, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, Free France is over there as well, huh? Shang-Chi. Oh, there goes Armenia. Very nice. Go all the way in, please. You guys can come down here, too. And I'll take out Italy from the other side as well. Hopefully close off the meta if we push hard and fast enough. Oh, look at that. They died. They're pushing into here probably a little bit, or... Oh, the Germans are over there, too, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I'd rather have the Germans on our side than not on our side if we're going to fight the Allies anyway, so... Cool. Overall, not too bad. And we're pushing quite well into Italy. Um, of course, this way we have to fight America, I think. Yeah, I'm not really going to invite, invade them, though. I don't really care about America too much. We'll see about the UK, though. We'll see how the, German, the Germans do. We don't have a lot of planes here, though. She does suck. Never mind. The engine's not bad. It's definitely not going to be enough, but... And do we have any more air bases? Yes. We already filled it up with a lot of other planes, but oh well. Do we have any naval bombers at all? Probably not, actually. I don't think I made any naval bombers, which is a big old mistake for me. Whatever. Oh, did they immediately shoot down my planes? Yep. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of planes. I get a lot of rubber, too. We got a lot to do. Also, I did get... Stop saying that we needed that one there, which is done with me, but whatever. Um, let's go and invade. Let's see what we can do here. Cool. And Air Doctrine. Yes, thank you. Anything else? Oh, oh, uh, 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 we were just fine on them anyways, but okay. I mean, there you go. Congratulations. You won. Uh, uh, we finished our Land Doctrine 2, which is very good. We're pushing through it pretty nicely, actually. If we push fast enough through, we can close off Gibraltar. Can we go to War of the Greeks? They are in the Allies, and we don't want them there, so... Hopefully... Or we'll go to war with these guys. Oh, now we're at war with Sun Kyung. There we go. Oh, there goes Kurdistan. Goodbye, Kurdistan. You never needed to exist. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you're still training. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, that was my bad. My bad. These guys not take any damage at all. Hopefully the Germans can make a big old air force, but obviously we are not doing great with ours. Uh, fighters are okay. Yeah, we could use some actual naval bombers. Oh, do we actually get something here? Ah, an early destroyed hole. I think we're not doing that much damage, but give us some more time. We'll get there. Not bad. Free France is invading this way too. It's not great, but whatever. Look at that. Not bad. Some comments included. Uh, we should have had the Ukraine and Belarus as buffer states. Yeah, that would have been smarter. Yeah, I think that would be smart overall. It does make them a little weaker, but whatever. Uh, this is going to be a very strong path for Poland, and especially when we can get cores on Latvia and Lithuania, basically. Yep. As well as Romania. And even Sudetenland if we move fast enough. Uh, someone says if I can do a Red Flood, Red Flood USA Technate run. Eventually, yeah. And I should have annexed large amounts of Russia and balkanized the rest of it. Eh, we could have. But I don't like a lot of lag. That's the only reason why I don't do it. A lot of mixed results here. Keep going, you're doing fine, doing fine. I don't know why we're not war with Italy yet, but whatever. You're the ones down here, you're the ones down here. You kind of, oh my gosh, it's so bad. There over there. Um. Just do that for now, it's fine. Get to Gibraltar. Go, go, go. Wow. 
All right, so now we're thinking a few things here. Not much. Convoys, maybe a destroyer or two. Couple subs. Couple subs. Couple subs. Couple subs. That ain't too bad. Yeah, I'll definitely use more radar here. I'm just going to give us like one tile. I just want one tile. Like Normandy or something. Good. Okay, so with that, that's good actually. So that we can do this. Lots of that. Lots of air bases. Build up them naval bases. And keep working on making some heavy tanks because we're working on it. Nice. And atomic physics. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, I should have done. Well, let me get some naval bombers. Oh, there's Republican Italy. Nice. You want to join this group? There you go. You guys are done? Huh. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Good navy invaded the Eastern Balkans, which sucks. Oh, wow. Wow. They've been destroying a lot of the German fleet here. Are these guys... I think these guys are trapped. That sucks. It's a naval bomb. Air superiority is pretty good, though. Another destroyer. Nice. How many planes are we missing? Uh, we still have 62 in reserve. That's not bad. Looking pretty good over here. This was, uh, well, spies, huh? Definitely an issue. Definitely an issue. Come on, we gotta go to war with the Greeks, too. It's kinda dumb. That we have to wait to go to war with them. It makes no sense. If you're in the alliance, you should be dead already, basically. Not bad. Sin Kyung's a gigantic mess as well. And push into China, too. Go for war bonds. Button ourselves up a little bit more. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Losses. 200,000, basically. How many of the French do we kill? 134,000. UK soldiers? 188,000. Not bad. Wow. That's a lot more. Oh, wow. Must have sent a lot of task forces in here. Not bad. Not bad. A lot of our ships died. But not bad. Fall of Gibraltar? Very good. Yep, looks like we now lost another ship. Good. Kill them all off. Wow, 16 divisions stuck there, huh? Nice. Good stuff. Did we lose an entire army group? Why do we have so many casualties? No, I don't think we did. Still, you never know. So for now, we all know they're going to invade us. At least guard the area for now. While we're getting ready to basically invade them ourselves. So we need quite a bit more air power here. I'm glad we're not having to use our own manpower to get us and all this stuff. Nice. 43. Let's get some more output. Oh, yes, please. Giving our allies know that we're completely out of stuff, too. Which does kind of suck. My goodness, what are we sinking here? Oh, early sub, not bad. Three destroyers, not bad. I mean, the subs we have are not very good. Ah, oh, heavy cruiser, oh, that's not bad. Death of Tsar Bort's third of Bulgaria, that kind of sucks for you. All right, well, it's definitely mixed. It's not great. It's not bad. Oh, you guys are down there. Oh. This is dumb. Why are they still holding out against us? Moose kill? That sucks, bro. It's probably promoted. Yeah, get the naval mission efficiency one done. Ah, I've keep reading naval bombers. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Not any longer, though. Man, supplies suck down here so much. On these divisions, we already have logistics. We need better logistics, I guess. It's just, there's just, like no supply down here. Um, 
Bulgaria, what are you doing? You're literally my puppet. You're not allowed to leave. Keep thinking convoys, that's good. More horsey boys, yes. No more horsey boys, yes. Wow, really? Invading here? Oh, I'm glad we're holding out here. They sent a lot of convoys into here. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still. I'm okay with that. Are they retreating? Can we all like just come into this towel? There we go. Ooh, that's gonna leave us a little exposed here too. Uh, why don't you guys get over here? Or actually, not really, since they seem like they have the line covered anyway. So three. Nice, nice, nice. Central Defense Poland. Poland is lacking the equipment it needs to defeat, defend against countless threats to the border. By expanding the Ministry of National Defense, we'll be better equipped to fight any army who seeks to brutalize Poland under an occupation. Nice. Uh, Austria, can you come in? We need you to fight through Albania. I mean, we're still doing okay-ish around here-ish, but still. Nice, right here is a really weak part of their line, which is awesome. Someone's been wounded, so be it, so be it. Super heavy tanks sound like a lot of fun. Modern tanks, of course. Flamethrowers. Sounds like a lot of fun, but I won't go heavies. Heavy cannon. Heavy howitzer. A lot of soft attack. I'm gonna balance it out the advanced high velocity. Where's the piercing hundred holy crap, heavy cannon? I always like having tanks that can pierce itself. So, basic heavy cannon doesn't seem too bad. We can always throw more stuff on here as well. Uh, let's go, can we go heavy turret? Two man, oh wait, two man turret. You get a, quite a bit less breakthrough, but a little more defense, that's not worth it. Slightly less speed for four more breakthrough? Eh, I think it's okay what we have right now. Uh, I was getting radio. Advanced radio is always pretty good to do as well. Secondary turrets, heavy machine guns. Ooh, I don't want to hurt our... It doesn't be that much, honestly. A little bit more soft attack. Special module. I like special modules. Wet storage. Um, that's fine. That one's fine. Special module. Smoke launchers. Defense breakthrough. Ooh, more piercing is not bad. Doesn't help us that, that much. Sloped armor. Oh my gosh, yes. Production cost is no problem. And then extra ammo storage. Less reliability is fine. Auto loaders. Of course, at the same time, we gotta keep an eye on some of this stuff too. Riveted armor, welded armor. If it doesn't slow us down, you might as well do it. Now this hurts our reliability. I want more speed, but honestly, I'm gonna go with more reliability first. So this way, we can always just throw on more here. Because this lowers reliability anyways, and helps you become even faster, faster, faster. So, that's something I have noticed doing this. Ooh, more trash my butt. Meh. Uh, extra ammo storage hurts our reliability too much. More precision, reliability. Actually, you know, ooh, we already did, we already did this one once, right? No, no, we didn't. So even more reliability. See, because of this, uh, it's better to increase your engine and armor because this hurts reliability and speed as well. So you can just so what I always recommend, or is what I will recommend until this changes, go with the torsion bar, get as much reliability as possible, so you can just manually speed it up. Because if you do this, um, it's better to do it like this. Then have your engine at zero, your armor zero, but having more um, speed this way. The speed here for the suspension is not worth it if you can just increase your speed here. Because your reliability is still so high. You just get more reliability. And this is going to be some speedy boys. Don't get me wrong, I like armor, but 133, it's already pretty good, so. Uh, that might be a bit too much. <laughs> and I want to be about 100% just because... Even, it doesn't help you at all if it's 100% or higher, but but we're so close that it, it's a lower chance, or has basically no chance, 
uh, for it is just random stuff for engine failure. So doing it like this, you got a ton of armor. It can't pierce itself. Now you might have divisions that might be able to pierce it. Probably not. I mean, and it's it's pretty. It's not that slow. That's pretty good. I mean, too bad we can't really use it that much. But at the same time, Bestia sounds amazing. Sounds absolutely amazing. You know, I spent like just like feel like it feels like five minutes just talking about it, but it sounds awesome. Mm, Germany, Russia. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Not bad. Are we losing planes? Yeah, we're losing cast like crazy. Alright, so let's increase the amount of uh, things we have on cast. Um, that's fine. I don't want to lower that one. Do we need more infantry equipment? Really? Oh my gosh, we do. Uh, lower it to one, lower it to one, lower it to three. It's fine. And we are damaging them pretty nicely, though. Can't do much there. It's fine. Whatever. Extraction, though. No. We're good. Uh, maintenance companies, maybe. Those things can get pretty darn expensive. Also, not too bad either here. Ah, oh, actually, the tank out now. Nice. Good. And tank division. Um. Look, you could attack pretty darn well. Not sure where to send them. I don't want to send them into a place that. Not really good for tanks. So this division has like no armor. Well, god dang it. Oh, so we're using some old tanks. Hold on. So even then, that's pretty good. The piercing still can't pierce itself, which is fine. Uh, this would lower just a little bit more, which wouldn't really be very beneficial, but whatever. I really don't want to send this fleet out, but we do need to capture uh, Constantinople first. Which would be obviously a good thing to do, but we can't see here. Any of that. That sucks. Actually, Sea Wolf, nice. Sun Hunter. Get more penetration and cool down. Nice. I wish we could go Torpedo Expert too, but whatever. Uh, Fleet Admiral, Anti Sub. Anti Sub? Wait, you're Anti Sub, dude. Well, we'll see what happens with him. You never know. Lost quite a few subs, but that's pretty darn normal. He has level 5, though. It's probably promoted. Not bad. Who's actually attacking here? Because this is just a giant mess. Did we actually... Oh, we did okay right there, huh? If we get a win right here, that'd be great. There's not that much attrition, which is really disappointing. Give me a few more fighters around here. Five more fighters around here, maybe. I wonder what Germany's up to to help us kill off our enemies here, but I don't know. Is it possible to win here? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> oh, we are pushing through here pretty nicely, though. How many guns are we out? 16, 17,000? That's not terrible. Not great, though. And they're gone. Yay! Good job, guys. They're right here. Literally, don't let them move. Like, force the attack if you can. Which I don't think they can, which sucks, but whatever. Oh, we keep, we are deleting division, so you just got to keep it up. Just got to keep it up. Another bit, division just died. Another division just died. So I'm trying, how are we doing over here? Slowly doing okay. Yeah, fighting through here sucks. A, 52, not bad. 10, not bad. Oh, we're doing okay down here too. Not great, but okay. Nine divisions left. And now, by Denmark. Although, oh, minor power, the Danes control the streets of Denmark, a key strategic region in the Black Sea. Not Black Sea, Baltic Sea. Oh. By signing or aligning the Danish with our faction, we'll secure access in and out to the Baltic. The Danes must merely be trusted to survive. That is all. 
Good mag sweet uh, mission to there. Nice. And more naval stuff. Yay. Oh, better torpedo hit chance. That's really nice, actually. Hey, we got them! Now they own it, but I don't want them to own it, but whatever. Now our ships can actually get out of here. Thank God. Get out. Get out. Hopefully the Danes will agree to us. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. We're still fighting down here, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh god, they're moving in through here. That's not good. Best bait a little bit more attention to that. And you guys did fine over here too, so I'm not super worried about this area. You guys can come try to come down here too, but still. Smear Neil. Did you guys do okay here? Do we yeah, we're doing okay ish here. We might be able to win, maybe we'll see what happens. Hellas is gone, thank god. Very nice. You guys did great. Honestly, not sure what to do with you all. Honestly, we can go to war with Finland, too. That's fine. Can we go to, try to go to war with someone else? I can't remember. Maybe. German stuff. By Denmark and by Sweden. The Swedes have an intriguing concept of neutrality during these times. Oh, I read this one, yeah. Sorry, I just I completely forgot. We're gonna read this again because we're about to invite Norway. It's no secret that the Germans have ambitions and designs for Norway, and already there are men within their nation ready to collaborate with these foreign invaders. By extending invitation to the Inner Marium, we are offering the Norwegians a unique opportunity to resist German aggression without having to bend to them. Pretty much. Uh Y'all can move up here. Or just... Okay, well, whatever. If you don't want to move, then that's your fault. Not mine. Hey, but look at all this. A lot of convoys around here. I like this a lot. More rubber? Always more rubber. Always. Nice. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of things around here. If I Denmark... If I know Norwegians... They accept their invitation. Denmark has decided to accept their offer to join the November Alliance. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. Nice, nice, nice. Happy 44, everybody. We get a lot of that stuff going. I never thought we'd end up in the same alliance as the Danes right now. Oh, we're running out of planes. That's not good. And then Sweden. Yep, pretty much. Not too bad. Oh, dude, yeah, that's, that's that's really good, actually. Looking okay. Infantry expert, yes. Uh, army grouping, that's one. That's fine. That's, uh oh. Well, that's not good. How strong is UK right now? They're trying to start Ferdinand the first. Well, good job, Bulgaria. A lot of divisions. Oh, they're doing pretty okay for themselves. They got a lot of things around here. We just need more planes. It's so hard to fight those guys without the AI. Our AI Al is helping us out too much. Oh, more upgrades? Ooh, Lone Wolf. Oh, that's nice, yes. Consumer Expert, especially since we have so few subs. That's actually really nice. Actually, if anything, if you want us to... Or, because they'll start bombing the crap out of our ships, probably. But if we can do this, we can starve them out of supplies, maybe. Loads of convoys, especially if they can't find us. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be very nice, actually. We're doing okay here. They're still attacking us here. Invite Norway. Come on, Norway, get in. Come on, Sweden, join in. They accept, yes! I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that they actually still joined. Even though we had the... Uh, the I mean... They probably still would have us still. 
Oh yeah, sink those convoys, man. Very nice. Good. Oh, they're not doing so well there, huh? I'm pretty sure we don't have naval superiority, but still. Sink the convoys, sink the fuel, sink everything they got. Then again, if you look at our uh, navy, it's not so good. We've lost a lot of shipperinos. Uh, we'll get some more dockyards. Why not? Yes, sir. Come on in. So after we invite Sweden, well, pretty much been done with most of the focuses that we really care about too much. Um, Span Northern Rail. Study so British ship designs. Develop Gdansk Naval Dockyard. Now that Gdansk is one against one again under control, we might give it naval instruments or investments. It also desperately needs to begin the rebuilding the tremendous Baltic Navy Poland needs. Absolutely. Since we're here, anyways, let's come down over here. Any 34 subs. And just try to improve our subs as much as possible. Oh, we lost a sub. That sucks. I guess we lost a sub. Got eight. Hmm. That sucks. Here's what we're gonna do. Retreat from here. What you gonna do? Let's go over here. There you go. Can't get it from outside the area. Then. Cool. Yeah. I think that's not too bad. And this stuff is. Well, they're still attacking us here. How are we doing on this front? Uh, it's really, supplies really bad. Supplies really bad. Supplies really bad. Normal stuff. Not too worried about that. It's just about the UK now. Just because everything else is pretty much done. I mean, the North Africa would be nice to capitulate. But I'm going to read a few more focuses. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, do... I, I'm going to do this, some of the stuff off screen. Just because it's going to take a while to do. Probably. So we talked about that one. Standardization of equipment. Why not? For standardizing the equipment of our soldiers, we... Oh, boy. Uh, uh, set the foundation for modern uh, military apparatus. Study British ship designs. Uh... I really need to. Except, yay, Sweden. Good job, Sweden. Expand Northern Rail. Uh, all Polish goods must enter and exit through the north, but the infrastructure there is far from what it could be. The north must be given proper railway infrastructure. ROP Orsa. Modern naval warfare is both one and above beneath the waves, and if we wish to compete with the U-boats, or compete with the U-boats of Germany, we must design and distribute original Polish subs. We resume naval modernization. Now that we regain our control of our coastline, we can resume the modernization of our navy. Victory shall come from studying the methods of naval warfare before committing our industry to anything. Alright everyone, so we're not ready yet. It's, it's only April or August 7th, 1945, but we're doing Plan East now because we can. We've been in and out of military conflict with the Russians for centuries, and we can safely assume that Adrian Lazarev, Lazarev will, like his predecessors, will attempt an invasion of Poland. They must not succeed this time. Plans must be drawn to ensure Poland's decisive victory over Russia, which we did get, and supply the railroad nexus. The railways in eastern Poland are in a sorry state, not nearly comparable to Poland's central region. A war with Russia would be won or lost without this control, with a control or supply, and a decent supply chain or our own men would be a great place to begin. Fortification of Ukraine. The east is underdeveloped and agrarian, and Polish Ukraine remains a soft spot in Poland's south prime for invasion. Some basic fortifications must be constructed along the border if we are to keep up our, our keep our nation safe. Which we're doing a little bit, but I think it'd be good to keep going this way. Cruiser Navy, maybe. Uh, increasingly larger ships will be needed to make a reality of our plans for sea presence. I, ORP also? Well, I think I read this one earlier, but modern naval warfare is one both and above the, beneath the waves, and if we wish to compete with the U-boats of Germany, we must design and distribute original Polish subs, which we already have 1944 subs, but whatever. The Dragon Ambition. Well, you get a light cruiser bonus blueprint here. Modest stuff. We do get a bonus one for destroyers and subs, but I'm not really going to be using subs. Well, we'll be using subs, but we already have them all researched, so... The Polish Navy thus far has been modest and weak in its efforts to modernize by no more. A great Polish dragon will mount the waves and both Germans and Russians alike will take quor quake at a roar as she rises like a beast on the horizon. Guardian of the Pacific, or the Baltic I should say. None shall pass by our blockades. None shall land on the shores of Poland or her allies. The Baltic Sea belongs to Poland and no others. Commerce attacked, uh, tactics. No navy is complete without subs. Our system needs to be organized for optimal leth lethality, just like the rest of the fleet. Uh, and that, I guess that's all for that one. Modern and cavalry trucks. Oh. Standardization equipment. By standardizing equipment for soldiers, we set the foundation for modern uh, supply apparatus. Air base expansions, okay. Uh, army modernizations. Modern arms for the modern men. That's really short. Modernize the cavalry. Attract foreign motor companies. 
Um, a 300% bonus for trucks. With, while Calvary still has a role to play, we need new metal mounts for it to compete on the modern battlefield. Attract foreign motor companies. While some would insist that the original Polish designs of LRL are where the future of Polish motorized equipment lies, the question remains, why should we reinvent the wheel when we can merely realign it? Four motor companies have mastered the art of making materials cheaper, faster, and harder, so it would seem prudent to invite them to design equipment for us. Anti-tank guns? Any enemy is sure to deploy tanks against us. We must be prepared to give them um, a warm welcome. City foreign tanks. These tanks will be a central part of today's armed conflicts, and we can make sure to keep pace with our neighbors by any means necessary. Adaptive designs. Oh, no longer cost consumer goods. Maintaining our license for foreign de designers are coming to be of great expense to the state, but perhaps there are ways we can repurpose our military designs to be of use in the private sector. By distributing a portion of our materials to the wealthy, we may mitigate the cost of maintaining the expense of employing these foreign design companies. Cruiser tank experiments? With the basics of tank design in place, we are now ready to start forging our own path on the tangled field of mechanized design and the anti-blitz tanks, or vehicles. Our, our enemies will seek to overrun us with overwhelming waves of armored divisions. We are unlikely to be able to match enemy tanks, but we can have our invest in weaponry design specifically to break vehicles at great expense to the enemy. So, actually, I forgot to do this, but we, I want to reform the Commonwealth just so we get cores on Lithuanian and Latvian territories, just because right now, um, we're going to have cores on this, and it would be really nice to get cores, especially for something like all this stuff. That would be really nice. Now, I, I wish we could keep our name. It would be better if we, instead of just being the king of a Pol uh, or Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, we have cores in Latvia too, so why aren't we the Polish, Lithuanian, Latvian, Romanian uh, kingdom or commonwealth? So that, I don't know why we have to become the Polish, Lithuanian ones, but you know, whatever. Also, like, we have sub fours already, like I said earlier, but like, I just want to make sure you guys saw that. And we're doing a okay with it with a level six general, Stefan Frankowski. And now we should have. Oh, the rebirth. If God is with us, then who is against us? Cores all over here, which is great, 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 great. Well, everyone, now it's April 2nd, 1946, and we've actually invaded pretty successfully. Uh, I stopped the invasion just so we, we could resume recording, but, like, yeah, overall, not too bad. Like, we, our Navy's done pretty darn well. We're killing off a lot of uh, British convoys now, which is very nice. Also, apparently, Denmark invaded Ireland. There's still a few convoys left, but that's not too bad, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. Good job, Denmark. Never thought they'd actually made, but apparently, uh, Iran got or Tehran got nuked. I'm going to assume that's from America, but yeah, the atomic era has truly begun. Oh well, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, let's keep pushing in. We do have our army down here, all infantry, but we did have the two heavy tank divisions as well, so we'll see what happens. And luckily, they still can't pierce us because these guys have how much armor? Almost 80. So that should be pretty decent for us. Um, I do want to get over here so we can cut these guys off and see what- Oh, they actually- Oh, wait, do we have ciphers? And the UK, yeah, yeah, we do. Not bad. Might as well use it, right? Might as well. So, really, the end, this is pretty much the end of the campaign. Once we get pictures of the UK, I mean, that's that's all I really wanted, I'll be honest. Like, uh, we've lost quite a few guys. Quite a few guys. We've killed off quite a few of them as well, which they absolutely deserve. India's a great- Not great power, but major power. Major player here. Oh. Why are they capitulate so fast? We didn't even get, we didn't even get to Scotland. Um, we got quite a few. Look at all those subs. Oh my goodness, I love subs. All right, subs really, in my experience, which is not gonna be the same as everyone else's. Um, subarinos like sub ones, I never use. They're just not very good. I'll use them if they're already constructed, but they're not very good. Sub twos are pretty much the same thing in my opinion. They're not. They're okay. They're not great. Um, they could be so much better. Uh, let's see, floating harbors. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, we didn't really need that one though. And then sub threes are starting to get like really good, especially when you get some more of the upgrades around them. And then sub fours are just cream of the crop. Do you want to get sub fours? Because they can literally just blow up everything if you do everything right, train them right. So overall, we're still doing guarding the Baltic, but I think we're probably going to end it here just because I don't know. We've already did all the boxes. This is definitely not the way I wanted the campaign to go. But then again, I'd expect us to become uh, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth with Estonia. Or not Estonia, but Latvia. And Romania. But, hey, you know what? That's probably going to be the end. No November Alliance is not too... Uh-oh, watch out. The birth of New Zealand armor. And now America's taking over the faction, but... I don't want to beat up Harry Truman. That doesn't sound... We killed off a lot of American convoys. I swear, we, we killed off so many... Can we see how many convoys we've killed off? Give me details. We have, we have 39 subs. The world class, huh? But... We've killed off about 1,500 ships, including a lot of convoys. Uh, current months, just convoys sink, 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 sink. But, like I said, I think that's pretty much going to end here for us today, because it's really 1946. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.